Hey everybody, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back. Let's replay Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In our last episode, we freed Jean from her captured cell in the Blue Tower, teamed up with Leo, and now we're in the inner shrine of Pentagulia. Oh, your sick plan can never succeed. No matter how hard you try, you can never stop me from finding Althena and halting Zophar's return. <laughs> Why, Lucia, you're delirious. Althena herself stands before you. Don't you recognize me, darling? I recognize only the face of evil. You are not Althena. You are nothing more than a human puppet dancing for the amusement of so far. And today we have plot. A lot of it. So, enjoy! Oh, I thought they were going to keep actually talking. <coughs> Oops. Well, I mean, the goddess usually would do that, but you're kind of a fake. Yeah, I don't think the real goddess would want that. Still, that word waif. That's like the third time we've seen that word. I have no idea what it means still. I'll have to Google it sometime. Not that I particularly care. It's not the end of the world or anything. Oh... Uh-oh. Someone has a plan. D-, D... What? Huh? Oh. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, don't mind Galleon. He's just crazy. Oh. Well, I... Oh. I was gonna say that's good, but it's kinda not good, actually. Yeah, I'm not liking what she's scheming over there. Well, there's a staircase right there. Can we just use that? Okay, well, let's go ahead and find it. The galleon's still kind of down there, by the way, guys, so... Not really sure if we can take him right now. Let's see. Ah, here we go. It's a pretty lavish room you got here, Althena. I still don't think the real one would need something like this, but I digress. Oh, here's more crazy Black Sabbath members. Yeah, these people are all kind of crazy. Rise from eternal darkness. Burn, burn, burn. Yeah, you guys scare me. I'm running now. Bye. Oh, yeah, no, that was easy. Don't you realize Zophar's only ambition is to take revenge on Althena? He what? brought me back from the netherworld, knowing that I, too, had a score to settle with her, and would sell my eternal soul for a chance to take revenge on the world that ruined me. But how can he hope to... <laughs> because he has a secret weapon. The true purpose of Althena's cult is to aid Zophar in his return to power, and once he is restored, my revenge will be complete. I won't let you do that! Mm. Big words from such a small lady. The real Althena must be imprisoned somewhere within Pentagulia. I will find her and destroy Zophar once and for all. You are delirious. Your power has been drained. Face it, you've already lost. But Galleon, you forget. Humans have an undeniable power too. <laughs> you mean to say that you're counting on the power of humans to save Althena and fuel your offense against so far? That plan is even more pathetic than I had hoped. You might as well kiss your precious blue star goodbye right now, Lucia. Do not underestimate humanity's power. So tell me, what will become of this world, once you've used the humans and cast them aside? <gasps> they'll... they'll be... <laughs> Don't worry. I doubt that your precious hero will be able to save you now. So the question is, shall we say, moot? And even if he did, you don't stand a chance of unlocking Pentagulia's secrets. So long, sweet pea. <laughs> Hero will come. I will escape, Galleon. 
the Chosen? A cult? A tool of deception? I cannot believe it to be so. If the true objective of the Chosen is to revive Zophar, I am fighting for evil. I cannot believe such a thing to be true. I must find the goddess Althena and address her directly. Wait, Leo, no! Well, that was fun. Also, really, really deep. And uh, plot twisting, all that sort of fun stuff there. Apparently, the Chosen is not as good as we thought before. Once they thought to, th thought to serve Althena, kind of serve Zophar instead. Yeah, that's that's kind of screwed up for Leo there, I would imagine. But, yeah, we kind of really deduced that already. Well, where else could it be, then? And she's not gonna join up with us. Okay, well, let's go track her down, then. Pentadrulia isn't that big, so I'm sure the real source of power is around here somewhere. Oh, wait. I always do that. I always, always do. I have no idea why. Go up here. Yeah. I, I don't even know why. I always forget that part. Oh? What's out there? Five of them? I kind of only saw four. Well, she knows more than we do, so... May as well follow her lead. Well, let's see what's over here, then. Saw the, um, the lake here earlier when we first came in. Oh? I think something's here. But... Where? All I see is... Yeah, that's pretty much all I see, too. Ah, well, how sneaky of them. Well, we'll take your word for it. You still don't see it yet. Um, what, what are you doing? Um, okay, you kind of you need a ladder. Or, or just be suicidal, that works, too. Took you until just now to realize that? I think she would have lost it a long time ago. Well... Okay, let's jump. May as well. Not even a second thought, just... Okay, let's jump off this giant tower. And of course, Lamina has to close her eyes before jumping. Oh, Lamina. Oh, Lamina. Well, we found the tower, and we're now kind of dead. Oh, but wait, that's right, I forgot we can survive Falls of Infinite Height. You know, RPG rules and all that. And here, I'm waiting for someone to point out, Oh, in this one game, you don't. You actually do die. It's not a full-on fat, guys. It's just a general rule that applies to a lot of games. There's a big list of generalities, or whatever the word is, general things that take place in RPGs. Not every single game follows by those rules. I was waiting for someone to point that out, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Well, Lucia's back now, so let's go ahead and fix up our formation real quick. Not that it really matters, actually. Uh, Jean can just go in her usual spot there. There we go. Also, there's weird slowdown here in the menu. That's just in the game, just a heads up. Again, not that it really matters. No? No, we kind of can't get through. Uh, do we have a plan B? Or C or something? Oh, yeah. Kind of forgot. Um, Zophar did that a while ago. Oh, hi. The Goddess Tower. Uh, of course, you're crazy cult members! 
Unfortunately, Masterland does not have a fancy teleportation entrance like Mari and Borden have. Kind of sucks. But oh well. Well, this kind of sucks. It's well, it sits on four, so we beat them in numbers, I, I guess. What? Such pretty music. Oh? Well, that works out pretty damn well for us. You didn't just see what happened or heard what we said? You stupid. Uh-huh, it's all Galleon's fault. Yeah, yeah, blame Galleon, blah, blah, blah. Uh-oh. Oh, goody. So far, you was left of your head. It is not necessary to rule the land chasing Lucia and her ragtag party of misfits. They will return to this very spot of their own free will. Lucia must return to this town to meet all Vida and Yes, so far, but I'm certain that Lucia will try to free the four dragons you have sealed to save Althena. She must... <laughs> well then, you must work to strengthen the seal and make certain that she does not succeed. For a moment, I will just watch and relish the way she worms her way into the hearts of the humans that have foolishly befriended her. I love his laugh. I really do. But they're pretty much letting us go. They're not going to chase us around the world or anything, so hey, there's that. Also, why are we in Taven's Peak? I just said that. Hi. Oh, that's right. Kind of forgot about them. Haven't used them yet. Well, that's pretty crazy what just happened, like, with everything. No, it's pretty much a whole part two coming up here, actually. Oh, well, that's no good. Oh, we have plenty of time, Lucia. You and your worrying about everything. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, yeah, no one else knew that, but yeah, Lucia did. Uh-huh. So how can we go about doing that? Oh. Yeah, that seems like Galleon could do that. Seems like that's that's his uh forte. Oh hi. Oh yeah, they uh kinda know each other, by the way. Yeah, there's the uh, reference to Alex there. Yeah, if you played Silver Star Story, you know all about this. Again, yeah, I'll LP that in the future. Kind of weird, actually, in a way, that I'm playing the sequel first before the first game. Although, when I say the word sequel, the games are actually a thousand years apart in the uh, timeline sort of thing there. So, yeah, it's definitely not a direct sequel, just a... Well, it, it kind of is in a way, just the timelines are so far apart. There's only references made between this game and uh, whatever. Whatever. Also, he mentioned the dragon aura. Keep that in mind for later. Oh, yeah. 
kind of uh, forgot about that. Yeah, Silver Star Story I'm not as familiar with as Lunar 2, because I've only played Silver Star Story a couple of times. This game I've played through a thousand times. Yeah. Ow. Well, that could have gone better. It didn't, but it could have. Well, yeah, he said a thousand years, so what do you think? Oh, <laughs> he's got you there, Ruby. No, she cannot, so she's useless. Uh, again, so nothing's really changed. Although she did kill the Guardian, remember way back when that bonus episode I did. That was pretty badass. <laughs> oh, they already said the same thing. Okay, well, sounds good enough to me. Oh, yeah. You gotta choose the, uh, corny, the uh, corny answer here. Yeah. Aw, oh, how sweet. Well, why would he? That'd be a dick move to do anyway, so... Might go for a little extra length today, just a heads up. We're already at 17 minutes, but yeah, there's a lot of plot to cover today, so... Oh, well, that's convenient enough. He's already on our side, so... Okay, well, works for us. I mean, we can't possibly do this by ourselves. Ah, yay! Haha! -ha, awesome. Alrighty. Sounds like a plan. So do we even know where Leo is right now, actually? Oh! Okay, well now we do. Yeah, I, I knew where it was. Again, the whole feigning ign ignorance thing, I pretend not to know something as to not spoil the game for people who haven't played the game before. You guys should know I've done that in the past before. So yeah, there's no need to clarify on something that's like feigned ignorance for. I know what I'm doing, believe it or not. Yeah, not everyone in the world has played this game before, so I try not to uh try to do my best as to not spoil the plot along the way. That's all. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Yeah, we can't use the uh, dragon wings because they're kind of, you know, dead in a sense. Yeah, conveniently enough, Leo's right outside Taven's Peak over in vain. So we'll head on over there. Once the, uh, once the Dawn Daughter ride's finally over. There we go. That seemed longer than before. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, hop on the uh, Destiny here real quick. Then we'll chat up Leo and see what we can do about getting the White Dragon aura next time on Let's Replay Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been IRM Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.